Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. April 28th, hold your position hour by hour. Encamped along the hills of light, ye Christian soldiers rise, and press the battle ere the night shall veil the glowing skies. Against the foe in veils below, let all our strength be hurled. Faith is the victory we know that overcomes the world. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Hold your position hour by hour. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. It is our privilege as children of God to hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. At times, the masterly power of temptation seems to tax our will power to the utmost, and to exercise faith seems utterly contrary to all the evidences of sense or emotion, but our will must be kept on God's side. We must believe that Jesus Christ is everlasting strength and efficiency. Hour by hour, we must hold our position triumphantly in God, strong in his strength. All things are possible to them that believe. Since God is working in you, you can safely set your face as a flint to do his will, and you may trust the Lord perfectly. You must make a daily personal consecration of all to God. You must daily renew your covenant to be his holy and forever. Place no dependence upon changeable feelings, but plant your feet upon the sure platform of the promises of God. Thou hast said it. I believe the promise. This is an intelligent faith. Your feelings will be troubled as you see some pursuing a course contrary to the principles of Christ. Trials and tests of faith will come to you, but I entreat you to look only to Jesus and allow none of these things to harden your heart or to cause darkness or unbelief. Let nothing cause your faith to fail. Live as in the sight of God. Talk with Jesus as you would speak with a friend. He is ready to help you in the sorest trial. He is with you in the gravest perplexity. A feeling of assurance is not to be despised. We should praise God for it. But when your feelings are depressed, do not think that God has changed. Praise him just as much because you trust in his word and not in feelings. You have covenanted to walk by faith not to be controlled by feelings. Feelings vary with circumstances. Walk before God by faith and rest fully upon his promises. Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Our High Calling, April 28th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.